In this video, I'm going to troubleshoot some of my scripts and my programming in my project. In my project right now, I should have a title that appears in the middle of the screen, a cloud that moves across the sky, and some lightning bolts that appear. And right now, when I click the green flag, the only thing that seems to be working is my door sprite and the scripts that are on it. Those scripts are showing that if I move my mouse pointer over certain coordinates, it'll show my sprite against the background, otherwise it'll hide. And then at the point where a user clicks the mouse button on top of the sprite, it'll send a stop everything message. So at some point here, I probably have some messages which have changed some of the, uh, the elements on my sprites. Right here I can see that this is on the title here. Uh, when I receive that message, it hides it. Now, as we can see when we run the green flag, the title appears to be running. It's got a white border outlining it when the green flag is clicked, which shows that it seems to be working, but it's just out of view. So if we need to put it back in view again, uh, one good way to do it is to, whenever you're going to start a sprite, to show it again if you have a hide somewhere along the line. And if you want it to appear at the start of the project, like I do, I can toss a show block in there, and now when I click the flag at least, it runs properly, appears, disappears, and once again I had a little script here where if I click on the door it disappears very quickly instead of running all the way through the script. So now it'll show again if the project has restarted. So that one's fixed. If I move on to the cloud, let's see what seems to be going on here. Probably the same thing. I might have had a hide somewhere along the line that I ran on it. So to show it again, um, we can either right click on the sprite itself and click show, uh, or put a little show block into the script to make sure that it always shows when it runs. And so that's back to normal again. And finally the lightning, let's see what's going on there. If I click it, it doesn't even want to run the block. And that's most likely due to this repeat block has a condition on it. And that says if my variable does not equal zero, it won't run through this. Now, the variable isn't appearing on the screen now, so I must have turned it off. So if I click back over the variable menu, if you click on this little toggle, you can show your variables, and that will show the value that it holds. So because it's a one right now, that means that my lightning won't run because it doesn't meet this condition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my stage, and I'm gonna put in a quick block here that makes it so that regardless of what the scene one variable might have been set to at any point when I've run my project, whenever I start fresh again, I'm gonna set it back to zero, which is the condition to allow the lightning to run. So now if we click the green flag again, yep, my project is back up and running again as it should. So, yep, and there we go. The lightning didn't quite reset. And then if we click here, everything will stop again. So we're up and running, so now we can run through this multiple times, starting stopping it, and all of the initial states of the scripts will revert to where I want them at the very beginning again.